Hey my dear data friends, it's Nikola from Data Mozart. In this video I want to show you a brand new visual in Power BI. It's Paginated Report Visual, which enables you to integrate Paginated Report directly into your Power BI solution. This was one of the most anticipated features recently, and you'll learn how to leverage this visual in your Power BI reports, and how it works under the hood. Stay tuned as we are preparing to kick off. The first thing you need to have in order to build your paginated report is a tool called Power BI Report Builder. It differs from a classical Power BI desktop. And if you go to this link, you can install Power BI Report Builder for free. For folks coming from SQL Server Reporting Services world, this will look quite familiar. And I already installed my Power BI Report Builder tool and here I already built a simple paginated report with it. So here I'm using AdventureWorks DW 2017 as my data source and I built a simple data set writing a basic SQL statement in order to retrieve data from the underlying database. I will click on validate query just to confirm that everything works fine. OK. And I can immediately check if my report works fine. I also have two parameters starting and ending date and I will run, click on run here to run my report directly from Power BI Report Builder. I will provide necessary parameters since data set contains data from 2011. I will retrieve data from uh, between 1st of April 2011 and 30th of April 2011. And I will click on view report. We need to wait a few seconds. And here it is. So you see a nice formatted report and we can also check specific colors within this matrix. Ok, I'll go back to design and now I'm ready to publish my report. So I will click on file and publish. Then I will be prompted to select the workspace, Power BI workspace that I want to publish my report on. And I will choose my test workspace. Since my, already, my report is already published, I will cancel this and we can switch immediately to a Power BI workspace. And here you see this paginated report and you can immediately spot that it differs from classical Power BI report uh, looking at this small icon next to a report name. Uh, one important thing to keep in mind in order to use paginated report you need to have some kind of premium license so either EM1 to EM3, P1 to P6 uh, I think and uh, yeah also A1 to A6 uh, okay and here I need to set something uh, I already did but you need to provide uh, premium settings for this workspace. So if I click on this workspace and go to settings, you see this premium option and here I have my premium per user subscription. So page native reports also work uh, on per user uh, uh, capacity, so per user license. Fine, and I can run my report directly from Power BI workspace to check if everything works same as in report builder. So here I will choose exactly the same portion of data. So we choose April 2011 and 30th of April 2011 and I will click on view report. We should get exactly the same results as in previous case. We need to wait a few seconds. And yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so, so far so good. That was the way that it was working up until now. And uh, up until now you had to choose between Power BI report or paginated report. Now you can take advantage and get the best from both worlds at one solution. So how do we do this? I will open my Power BI desktop and here I have a Power BI matrix which contains data from 1st of June to 30th of June from the underlying database. So it's exactly the same data source as in previous case. And now here you see the brand new paginated report visual which is still in preview at this moment. I will click on this visual and I'll be prompted to connect to report. I'll click on this button and here I'm offered to 
because I have only one paginated report in my Power BI workspace, I will select this my paginated report. And since my report is parameterized, I need to provide values for those parameters. So this is grayed out by default as you need to put some parameters here uh, in these fields, in this field here. And I already built my uh, values for my parameters d from and d2. d from is just the mean uh, value from my uh, fact order date, uh, fact internet sales uh, table order date column, and date2 is maximum value from uh, this table. So I will drag these two measures here in parameters uh, field, and now I can select and map my original parameters. So I will use d from to map to d from and d2 to uh, map to d2. Now I will click on C report and we need to wait a few seconds, hopefully not so long, until we get our paginated report rendered directly in Power BI. And let's expand a little bit. You can see that numbers matches between themselves, which is of course uh, expected behavior and you see that specific numbers for colors already matched. There are quite uh, a few options for formatting this visual. So as you expected in Power BI, you can turn on this toolbar thing. And uh, here you see the, the pages. You can also choose to export your results and you can choose to include parameters directly in Power BI paginated report visual. So I can click here on parameters and provide different parameters if I want. Now I will disable those parameters. One more important uh, property here is auto apply, um, auto apply button, auto apply filters, which means that uh, if you change this slicer value here, your paginated report visual will automatically render to uh, reflect changes in the slicer. I would suggest not to do it, so keep that turned off and explicitly click on apply changes because it was implemented in order to uh, take advantage of query reduction techniques. So what is what is the, the key thing here? What is so important here? Uh, if I change th this visual will be cross filtered as a normal Power BI, any other Power BI uh, visual. So if I go here and change dates from example, for example, from uh, 17th of June until the end of June, you see that uh, Power BI metrics quickly apply those changes. So if I hit click here, cl uh, apply changes, you will see that this slicer uh, in fact affects also our paginated report visual. And that's awesome. So basically what you can do is you can uh, interact with those things and yeah, so for example, if I click on 24th of June and I click apply changes, you will see that uh, my paginated report visual has been cross-filtered by Power BI metrics. That's awesome. So I will now exclude this. So why is it, why is it important at all at first place to have paginated report uh, within Power BI? So uh, the main thing here, because uh, let me just publish my report now to Power BI workspace. Yes, I can save this and I'll publish this to my test workspace. Okay. I will replace the existing one. Let's wait for a few seconds until changes are implemented. Okay, we are done. And now I can go again to my Power BI workspace. Here it is. And I will open my report now. And you see our Power BI metrics and you should be able to see in a few seconds additional one which shows data about uh, which shows exactly the same data within paginated report visual. If I interact with this uh, uh, filter it will apply the same changes as you saw in Power BI desktop. Now the key thing here is when you want to export results from Power BI report uh, Power BI is quite limited with this, uh, for this requirement. And if I click here to export data, I can choose between summarized and underlying data. For summarized data, I can choose between 
Excel or CSV format or for underlying data I can choose only Excel format. Here for in a paginated report visual I can select uh, I can choose between multiple different formats such as PDF for printing I can do uh, I can import uh, export this ex uh, directly to PowerPoint to Word so whole bunch of different formats. Other than that if you want to export your report uh, from let's say Power BI to PDF so I will only export current page and I'll click on export and let's wait for a few seconds until it's done. And there you go. So what? Where are my dates after 2nd of June? Yeah, of course, in Power BI report you can scroll down through this matrix or table, whatever you have. But here in PDF you can't scroll down, so basically you are missing a part of your data. On the other hand, let's export our paginated report visual to, let's say, PDF. And let's wait again for a few seconds until this is done. And here I will open it and you can see a nice formatted page for our report showing all the dates from our matrix. And that's the main advantage when you are using paginated reports. They render well and they are... Uh, in the end, their name says it all, so they are called paginated reports because they fit to page almost perfectly. Now let's go back to Power BI Desktop and I want to check how this visual works under the hood. So in order to check this, I will turn on Deck Studio and try to catch the queries generated by Power BI here. So I'll go and turn on all queries and I'll go back to my Power BI desktop and let's interact with our slicer. I'll change this date to 18th and apply those changes. Let's wait for a few seconds. And here, here, is, the, here is the query generated by Power BI. And you can see that we only have values for dim date captured and sent to an underlying database. That's kind of weird, so as I would expect it to see, you know, our other columns, uh, if you go there to this one, you can see that we have all our columns, sales amount, product color, etc, etc. But for the first one we have only dates provided. So we don't have complete overview what is exactly going on under the hood. Let's turn on another very useful tool for capturing uh, SQL queries generated by Power BI and this tool is called SQL Server Profiler. Good old tool for checking what is going on with under the uh, behind the scenes in your uh, SQL Server database. Here I can select different events uh, to have trace on those different events. I don't touch any, anything here. I will do uh, I want to check all the events and let's go back to Power BI desktop and again Interact with our report. I will put 25 to June and apply those changes and let's go to SQL Server Profiler to see what's happening there This is the query generated by Power BI and here you see this dynamic SQL was generated. Basically, uh, this is the query we set in our original paginated report within Power BI Report Builder. And you see those two parameters, those values that were basically captured in DAX Studio and here provided as parameters to our report. So basically we have a dynamic SQL. Let's go and check once again if uh, we change slicer value what will happen in the background. So now I have 23rd of June as a starting date. I will again click apply changes and go back to uh, SQL Server Profiler to see what happened now. So basically you see that now this uh, parameter was changed. Uh, original query remained the same. So the original query comes from Power BI Report Builder, but basically uh, what Power BI did, it generated dynamic SQL and providing uh, parameters for this dynamic SQL on the fly. So we have 
our updated parameters here. So to conclude, the possibility to render paginated report directly within Power BI report is an immense addition to the already wide range of capabilities that Power BI offers. And having another very powerful tool under the belt can only increase the business value your reporting solution provides. There will always be users that insist on print-friendly data and Power BI on its own couldn't address these requests properly. But now by integration of mature and established technologies such as paginated reports, you can satisfy all requests from within a single location, even applying all the filters to your data at once. Despite some limitations, I believe that paginated report visual is one of the greatest improvements in Power BI recently. That's all friends, if you find this video useful, make sure to hit that like button down below. Also make sure to subscribe to Data Mozart channel. Enjoy Power BI and enjoy paginated reports.